Whey protein is a popular supplement. It's widely recognized in the fitness community for its effectiveness and versatility. Whether you're a professional athlete or just someone looking to improve your fitness, whey protein can be a valuable addition to your diet. It helps build muscle and strength. When you engage in resistance training, your muscles undergo stress and minor damage. Whey protein provides the necessary building blocks to repair and grow these muscles, making them stronger and more resilient over time. Athletes and fitness enthusiasts use it. It comes from milk. Specifically, whey protein is derived from the liquid part of milk that separates during cheese production. This makes it a natural and effective source of high-quality protein. Whey protein is a byproduct of cheese making. During the process of making cheese, milk is curdled and the solid curds are separated from the liquid whey. This liquid whey is then collected and processed to extract the protein. It's the liquid left behind when milk curdles. This liquid contains a significant amount of protein, which can be isolated and purified to create whey protein powder. This liquid is then processed and dried. The whey is filtered to remove fats and lactose, leaving behind a concentrated protein solution. This solution is then dried to form a fine powder that is easy to mix into various foods and beverages. The result is a powder that's packed with protein. This powder is not only rich in protein but also contains essential amino acids that are crucial for muscle repair and growth. Whey protein is popular for good reason. It's convenient, effective, and backed by scientific research. Many studies have shown that whey protein can significantly enhance muscle growth and recovery when combined with regular exercise. It's easily digested and absorbed by the body. Unlike some other protein sources, whey protein is quickly broken down and utilized by the body, making it an ideal post-workout supplement. This makes it ideal for muscle recovery and growth. After a strenuous workout, your muscles need protein to repair and grow. Whey protein provides a fast and efficient way to deliver these nutrients to your muscles. It's also a complete protein. This means it contains all the essential amino acids your body needs. These amino acids are the building blocks of protein and are vital for various bodily functions, including muscle repair and growth. This means it contains all the essential amino acids your body needs. Essential amino acids cannot be produced by the body and must be obtained through diet. Whey protein provides a convenient way to ensure you're getting these important nutrients. Whey protein is a versatile supplement. It can be easily incorporated into your daily routine. Whether you prefer shakes, smoothies, or even adding it to your meals, whey protein can fit seamlessly into your diet. It can be added to shakes, smoothies, and even baked goods. This versatility makes it easy to increase your protein intake without drastically changing your eating habits. It's a convenient and delicious way to increase your protein intake. With a variety of flavors and forms available, there's a whey protein product to suit everyone's taste and dietary needs. Whether you're looking to build muscle, recover from workouts, or simply boost your protein intake, whey protein is a reliable and effective choice. Cheese making is an ancient process. It starts with milk. Milk contains two main proteins, casein and whey. During cheese making, these proteins are separated. Enzymes or bacteria are added to the milk. This causes the milk to curdle. Curdling means the milk separates into solid curds and liquid whey. The curds are used to make cheese. The whey is a valuable byproduct. Once the curds and whey separate, the whey is collected. It undergoes several steps to remove impurities. First, the whey is filtered. This removes any remaining cheese curds. Then, the whey is pasteurized. Pasteurization uses heat to kill any harmful bacteria. Next, the whey goes through a process called ultrafiltration. This removes excess water, lactose, and minerals. The result is a concentrated whey protein solution. The concentrated whey protein solution is further processed. This increases its protein content. There are two main methods, membrane filtration and ion exchange. Membrane filtration uses special membranes. These membranes separate the protein from other components. Ion exchange uses resins. These resins bind to the protein. Both methods produce a high protein powder. This powder is known as whey protein concentrate or WPC. WPC typically contains 70 to 80% protein. Section 5. Isolating the protein powerhouse. For an even purer protein source, whey protein isolate or WPI is produced. WPI undergoes additional processing. This removes more fat, lactose, and carbohydrates. One common method is cross-flow microfiltration. 
This process uses a membrane with tiny pores. The protein passes through, while larger molecules are filtered out. Another method is ion exchange chromatography. This method uses charged resins to separate the protein. WPI typically contains 90% or more protein. Section 6, From Powder to Shake, The Final Steps This is where the journey of whey protein reaches its culmination. After concentration or isolation, the whey protein undergoes final processing. This stage is crucial as it determines the quality and usability of the final product. It's dried into a powder. The drying process ensures that the protein is stable and has a long shelf life. This powder is then flavored and packaged. Flavors range from classic vanilla and chocolate to more exotic options like mocha and strawberry. Spray drying is a common drying method. It is efficient and helps in maintaining the nutritional integrity of the protein. The liquid whey is sprayed into a hot chamber. This process rapidly removes moisture from the liquid. The water evaporates leaving behind a fine powder. This powder is rich in protein and ready for the next steps. Flavorings, sweeteners, and other ingredients are added. These additions not only enhance the taste, but also improve the texture and mixability of the protein powder. These enhance the taste and mixability of the powder. A well-mixed protein powder dissolves easily in liquids, making it convenient for consumers. Finally, the whey protein is packaged for sale. The packaging is designed to keep the product fresh and protect it from moisture and contaminants. This ensures that when it reaches the consumer, it is in perfect condition, ready to be mixed into a delicious and nutritious shake. Section 7. Whey Protein Unwrapped, Concentrate versus Isolate versus Hydrolysate. In this section, we will delve into the different types of whey protein available in the market and understand their unique characteristics and benefits. There are different types of whey protein, each catering to specific needs and preferences. Whether you're an athlete, a bodybuilder, or someone looking to supplement their diet, understanding these differences can help you make an informed choice. Each type has unique properties that affect how they are processed by the body, their nutritional content, and their cost. Knowing these properties can help you select the right type of whey protein for your goals. The main types are concentrate, isolate, and hydrolysate. These three forms of whey protein differ in their protein content, lactose and fat levels, and how they are processed. Whey protein concentrate, or WPC, is the most common form of whey protein. It is produced by removing a portion of the non-protein components from whey, resulting in a product that contains about 70 to 80% protein by weight. It's also the most affordable option among the three. This makes it a popular choice for those who are budget conscious but still want to benefit from a high quality protein source. WPC contains a moderate amount of protein, making it suitable for general use. It provides a good balance of protein, carbohydrates, and fats, which can be beneficial for overall health and fitness. However, it also contains some lactose and fat. This might be a consideration for those who are lactose intolerant or looking to minimize their fat intake. Whey protein isolate, or WPI, is a purer form of protein. It undergoes additional processing to remove more of the non-protein components, resulting in a product that contains about 90% or more protein by weight. It has less lactose and fat than WPC, making it a better option for those who are lactose intolerant or looking to reduce their fat intake. This higher purity also means it is absorbed more quickly by the body. WPI is more expensive than WPC due to the additional processing it undergoes. However, for those who need a higher protein content and lower levels of lactose and fat, the extra cost can be worth it. Whey protein hydrolysate, or WPH, is pre-digested. This means that the protein is broken down into smaller chains of amino acids through a process called hydrolysis. This pre-digestion process makes the protein easier and faster to absorb by the body. The smaller chains of amino acids are quickly taken up by the digestive system, making WPH an excellent choice for post-workout recovery. WPH is absorbed quickly by the body, which can help speed up muscle recovery and reduce soreness after intense workouts. This makes it a preferred option for athletes and those engaged in high-intensity training. Section 8. Fueling Your Fitness with Whey Whey protein is a valuable tool for fitness enthusiasts. It supports muscle growth, recovery, and weight management. Understanding the different types of whey protein can help you make informed choices. Whey protein is a convenient and effective way to increase your protein intake. 
Choose the type of whey protein that best suits your needs and goals. Consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian for personalized advice.